Remember I told you the unpardonable sin, the sin unto death is to disagree with me? Is that not what you saw in that video? I have committed the sin unto death. That guy wants me dead. If I die, in a, if we fly tomorrow, if our plane crashes, you watch and see if he doesn't lay claim to it. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. <laughs> so, so what does the Apostle Paul say? In 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 20, he says this, Of whom is Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. You say, what's blasphemy? I don't know. I mean, everybody, I, apparently I do it real easy. But I would think calling Jesus Christ a liar would be blasphemy. And if he said it as many times as people I'm looking at, he's got a big scorecard to take care of. And here's what I'm saying. Next month will be 47 years of preaching. This is the first time, this is the only single person I've ever come to a pulpit, mention his name from a pulpit, and say something negative to him, negative to him about him. So you can't say, oh, it's personal, and you're just using it. No, no, no. It took 47 years. And I don't care about his church. I don't want his church to fold, okay? If he, if he will stop sending people into your church, if he will stop sending people to, and I'm telling you, around the world. When I first did the, the, a, a video on this, I heard from Australia, China, and England. I was just in Australia a couple of years ago, and they said, he has given us fits over the internet. He is a wolf. Yeah, right. And there are times, and I know this is very easy, so that's it. Well, whenever you want to badmouth somebody, you just quote that verse. I haven't done it in 47 years. Look at, look at 2 Timothy. Chapter 2. Once again, verse 17. And their word doth eat as a, and their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus. Hymenaeus must have been a real bad case. He probably mid tribulation rapture. So Paul does say there comes a time, and I'm telling you guys. When I, go into, when I go into church after church after church after church, and they all say the same guy has taken our people, when they say he has set, you know what he, he says, come into a church, join it, and start putting his stuff out. His church is not growing from Phoenix. It's growing from Chicago. It's growing from, it's growing from Atlanta. It's growing from Michigan. It's growing from all over the country because he is starting a cult, and all cults believe this. I don't care what they believe. All the rules can be different for a cult, but there's one rule that is always the same with a cult. Disagree with the leader, you're damned. Now you look at any cult, and you disagree with the leader, and you're damned. And you are damned. That's what he said. For not agreeing with him. And is there, is there anybody that is, did you ever, did anybody at least go and key his car? Have any of you even sent him an ugly email? You have done absolutely nothing, and the Gestapo has damned your soul to hell. And he, and he makes, he has to twist up what I say. And there it is. And then somebody's going to call me and go, I need clarification. Get some clarification on that. But I told you John does mention him. And John does mention him. I'm looking for my last piece of paper here. In uh, Revelation chapter 2, in Revelation chapter 2, look at verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. I know, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. Chapter 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. So yes, you got him in the Bible. John mentions him, 
Paul mentions some of the people like him. And I'm telling you this, guys, the guy is, uh, well, you, you, you saw him. I don't have to do a whole lot. I want to, oh, I want to show you one last thing. I want to show you he accepted the deal that Jesus Christ refused. Look at, look at uh, Luke chapter 4. Look at Luke chapter 4. Stephen Anderson accepted the deal that Jesus Christ said no to. Luke chapter 4 is the Lord being tempted in the wilderness by Satan. Took two weeks off from Phoenix and showed up. <laughs> oh, put that in the video, Steve. Put that in the video. Anyway, look what the, look what the devil did. Verse, 10, uh, verse, verse 5. And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. Now the love of money is the root of all evil, but the guy's got the money. He's a millionaire. That's why he does, if he, see, he can't handle it. He doesn't have time in this meeting he doesn't have time for his production people to make up a new video. You watch and see. There's going to be a first-class video of these, of these services, and, and he'll have those, you know, he'll have the 20-second sound bites, and he'll have him saying something he didn't say and have me saying something because he, he isn't his own man. He's a kept man. But he's got the money. But I got news for you, people. People want more than money. They want power. And they want glory. That's why they run. Why would people run for Congress and take a pay cut? Right. And why do people go out there and beat their bodies up on the sports field? Because they want power and they want glory. Right. Okay, so the Lord says, and doesn't it say the devil, didn't it, didn't it say he's got the power to do it? Right. Verse 7. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. All right, let me ask you a question. Didn't Jesus Christ just put, did he not just refuse power and glory? Sure did. It's been a good deal for a bunch of people. But you know what I tell people all the time? Be honest and, and, um, and don't cheat. When you cheat, there's no shortcut to, to, to success. Just be honest and don't take any shortcuts and don't cheat. So he just lost the, the chance on power and glory, right? Look at verse 13. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. Wow, he refused the devil's power and look at the power that he got. Power of the Spirit. Now, now, now Anderson will say Jesus had no power. And I'm gonna, I teach that Jesus had no power and the Holy Spirit gave it to him there. That's what I'm saying. In the power of the Spirit. So he came in the power. I guess that's maybe that's just a car. The power of the Spirit into Galilee where there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. And he taught in their synagogues being glorified of all. The devil says, I'll give you power and glory. Lord Jesus Christ said, hit the road, pal. And he got power and glory. Anderson didn't turn that deal down. 